viewers, Rectangular back with another haul video. This time we have some loose Marvel Legends. On the far left we have the Neo Classic Iron Man from the Epic Heroes Wave from Hasbro. And in the middle we from Toy Biz we have the spacesuit Ben Grimm from the Fantastic Four movie. I believe that was from the first film, yeah. And on the far right, we have the Silver Centurion, also from Toy Biz, and he is not complete. So, let's see. Starting from the left, the Silver Centurion I found online for $10 shipped, and is it from a guy I've bought a lot of my loose figures from? in the past, actually it's a few mint on card as well and not quite as good a deal as I got from JC Cortez but uh, 10 bucks, not not bad with shipping um, basically I got him for a uh, custom that I'm gonna make with uh, the Silver Centurion here on the on the far right um, basically I'm gonna do a kit bash combining the two figures so that I can have a um, Silver Centurion with an ab crunch. Actually this Silver Centurion I'm gonna keep um, probably as is and then um, use my old one. This guy um, you can see why I wanted to replace him because the paint is so um, pink if you compare the two can see how um, how much more uh, pink the shoulders and um, the crotch armor piece is on the uh, on my old one. Basically, I got even though this guy was mint on card, I got him off of uh, Amazon, and you know the seller had a stock photo. You know, pretty much. You'd a lot of most of the time on Amazon you have a stock photo to go by so um, I knew that this it was a common problem with this figure so I uh, you know those paint issues so I had even messaged the seller tell, asking them um, you know I don't want the figure if it's gonna have paint issues and um, they said oh yeah it looks fine because obviously they didn't know what the hell I was talking about so um, I thought about repainting it and um, was always worried about uh, trying to match the paint. So I do have some paint coming that will hopefully match it. Some uh, red clear um, Tamaya paint. But um, yeah, so I'm going to use the the old one for to customize and then keep this guy as is. And the Ben Grimm, um, this was actually supposed to be mint on card, or it was mint on card, but um, I uh, helped Pharaoh get a figure from a seller uh, in China and uh, had his address loaded into my uh, eBay account because um, it was the last um, purchase that I had made. And so when I had ordered him, I wasn't paying attention. And the figure went to his house, so he had to uh, unbox it and uh, ship it to me loose. So it was kind of a pain, but um, got here safely and uh, added the uh, raised the price because um, yeah, I already paid to have it shipped to his house. Um, but uh, it was uh, a really good deal for Mint on Card. I think it was like eleven dollars shipped, and then having to pay Ferro to ship it to me you know, that raised the price again. So it was still a decent deal, better than the deals I got in the past for this figure. But um, anyway, I just needed a, um, I wanted a, a third one. Um, one of the ones I have is, is pretty discolored, or slightly discolored, I should say. So uh, I was kind of thinking about touching up the paint on that or, or just having one that was beat up and then the other two, uh, you know, pretty pristine. So, anyway, um, let's go ahead and move on to the next items. 
Next up from Hasbro, we have the Icons Thor. Now, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this is a huge 12 inch figure and it's just beautiful. I love the 6 inch version of this figure, which is a little bit on the short side, but uh, love the classic likeness um, the, or the likeness to the classic character is spot on and uh, after watching um, Boog's latest video where he and Shardimus went and interviewed uh, Dave Cortez you get to see um, a lot of the behind the scenes of the process that sculptors go through and apparently they start off with a 12 inch at least they used to start off with a, a 12 inch sculpt of the figure and then downscale it to 6 inch um, or and possibly even down to 3 and 3 quarter inch so um, yeah I'm not, um, not a big fan of 12 inch figures but um, Thor is by far one of my favorites and uh, I love um, when figures have uh, uh, cloth capes so this is really really nice love seeing that and um, I'm hoping I can find something to do a uh, cloth cape on um, one of my six inch versions of this character this figure and um, yeah it looks really really good the you know flesh tone is just plastic there's no paint in there um, that's the only thing that I would possibly touch up on this on this thing and maybe um, add a little bit uh, darker um, gray uh, wash to um, Mjolnir but um, very very cool maybe you could use a little bit more gray in the wings as well but uh, very cool I got this off of uh, Facebook from a gentleman there and um, it was a really good price I think he only charged me 23 shipped for it and um, luckily I, I saw it right um, after he posted it because a bunch of people messaged him and um, you know he, he told him that it was already sold so uh, yeah it's in very very good condition I haven't found anything wrong with it there's like a tiny bit of uh, scrape there on the on the belt um, could use just a little bit of touch up there um, otherwise the joints are in great condition and um, paint looks great cape has just a tiny bit of uh, frays at the bottom but um, and on the back just a very very tiny minor fray but uh, very very happy and so glad to get this guy for a good price um, so you, you end up paying about probably thirty dollars shipped for him loose and um, probably looking at more around fifty dollars for a uh, for one mint on card and um, a couple of my friends were saying uh, you got a good one because most of the icons aren't that great um, so uh, yeah I'm very happy to get this guy and uh, might even be able to do some ACBA with him um, you know, elite outside shots I think would work really well with this guy. All right, let's go ahead and check out the next item. Now we have the Masters of the Universe Classics Princess of Power Swift Wind, and you're probably asking yourself, what are you doing with this? Well, number one, I don't collect Masters of the Universe figures, and definitely not a fan of She-Ra but this is by far the best six inch scale horse that also has wings now I am a big fan of Thor and Asgardians and Valkyrie is a major character from the Asgardians and she rides a Pegasus. So, been looking for a long time to get a horse that would work uh, that I could modify with wings, but 
nothing really worked, uh, especially that's articulated. And uh, this one was a little bit uh, pricey, a little bit hard to find. Um, but I was able to find it, I believe, let's see, did I get this on eBay? I think I got it on eBay. And got it for a pretty good deal with shipping. I think it cost as much as the, um, if you were, if you had the subscription. Um, which if I, they haven't re-released it, uh, apparently they're supposed to, but, um, so far it has not showed up. And anyway, so I'm going to have to paint the, the wings white and, um, I think probably I'm remove that, uh, armor piece on the front. Um, I'll probably end up in, I have to remove the, um, the horn that make also makes it a, a unicorn. Uh, but let me spin it around there to show the box. Some of the other figures in the line. And that's that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, the just got it for my Valkyrie. Uh, I one of the only Avengers that I don't own that I don't care to own is uh, Black Knight and you know I could use it for him if I really wanted to but I I just think he's a a goofy character and I have no interest in getting that that uh, figure so that's Swift Wind I'm not gonna bother taking him out of the package there's been plenty of reviews already uploaded to YouTube that you can check out. And I don't collect Masters of the Universe Classics, so it's not really a big deal for me to display the figure until I'm ready to paint it and put my Valkyrie on, or, on him. And I don't really have the space at the moment. I'm go trying to get my uh, geek room cleaned up and organized and uh, get everything displayed so he's just gonna stay in the box until I have a spot for him alright let's uh, check out what else I got the last item in the haul is the Marvel Universe Goliath from Hasbro and been trying to get this figure for a while just waited until I could find it for a decent price. I have got it off of eBay, I think for just over $50 shipped. They were asking uh, just over 60 I believe. Yeah, and um, I you know, sent them a uh, an offer and they accepted it. And pretty damn cool. Uh, he typically goes for um, 60 and up and loose and if you want to find a mint on card you're looking at about a hundred dollars shipped so very glad to get him into my Avengers collection um, I had like I said I already had the yellow one and I had the super scroll um, or the giant man scroll version which is pretty much the same body you can see this body mold uh, that was downscaled to six inch used for a lot of figures. I think even the um, constrictor that we got recently was based on this body mold but uh, more commonly you can see it on um, like Nova and the Kree soldier um, pretty much has the same same body mold even though no actually the Kree soldier I think has uh, um, different shoulder joints but um, yeah. Other than that, uh, this is in really good condition. The paint um, looks good on the visor. I only thing I saw on the was the back. The um, has a little bit of uh, paint wear on the on the back of the figure, but otherwise it's in uh, really good condition. Um, didn't come with uh, this whatever other character. Um, most of the Marvel Universe figures came with um, two figures 
the would have a uh, Marvel Universe figure, and then this you know larger version that um, we been able to use with our <clears throat> with our Legends. This is a 12 inch scale figure. So anyway, um, yeah, very happy to get him and. Goliath, um, oh, he's got a little bit of paint rub there on his forearm as well. Um, Hank Pym is by far one of my um, favorite characters, and it's hard to get all the different incarnations. That guy has uh, had more costume changes than probably anyone, or at least the characters that um, he's uh, filled the shoes of have had so many different um costumes and his uh, his wife Janet who's Wasp has also had a ton of different costumes there is even a Clint Barton Goliath which they've never made I've seen a really good custom that I um, hesitated on buying and uh, I should have I kick myself for not for not getting it because we're probably never going to see that uh, Clint Barton Goliath um, he's kind of weird he's got a He's, he's shirtless with a um, uh, like a harness across his chest and uh, Clint Bert Barton um, is is Hawkeye for those who are uh, not familiar with um, the character alright so hopefully you guys liked the video you hit the like button share with your friends and if you haven't already please subscribe and I always love hearing back from you guys, so please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you guys later.